these are a few clips of me doing my night routine and i do not feel good whenever i skip these so if you don't have a routine curated already for when you're going to sleep or when you're waking up you need to create one to take care of your mind and your body if you don't have the motivation to make a routine just think of it as taking care of yourself the same way you would if you had a child changing your perspective is gonna make a drastic difference if you view this as a chore rather than an act of self-love i have this mirror behind me because i'm gonna do my makeup right now and the reason that i feel like you should put not necessarily makeup but some effort into your appearance is because whenever you do your makeup you feel good you're more confident more alive not so dead and gloomy like it just feels like you're shining a little bit more brightly okay before i do my hair i need to figure out an outfit because my outfit is a teller of how i should do my hair so this is a gym outfit but i already feel like 20 times better about my confidence and if i were to go out in my pjs without makeup it would keep me in that sluggish mood that i'm in in those clothes because they say that the clothes you wear brings a certain type of energy so when you're in your room and you want to be productive they say you need to get out of those pjs because those pjs will make you psychologically feel like you're still like in sleep mode and so if i want to feel productive i'm going to put on clothes that i know i'm going to be productive in i hope it makes sense because i want to help you guys be more productive when i come back i'm probably going to clean a deep clean because i have not done something like that in a while So I quickly took a shower and changed because I just came home and straight went into cleaning Which is what I just finished doing I turned on my sunset lamp for the night mode vibes in my room because it is a nighttime And what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna be updating our notion calendar I like to keep in mind the day of the cycle slash phase that i'm in for my menstrual cycle Because if you guys have not looked into it what day you're on It directly affects your mood and your productivity levels because your hormones are rising and declining and depending on which hormone is where on what what day you're on it's gonna tell when you're feeling productive so like for me personally when i'm on my period i feel i feel kind of lazy i get projects and homeworks done but i'd rather do it from like bed once i'm off of my period i feel more energetic i have not updated my calendars it makes you less likely to miss any appointments or events and more likely to show up on time show up accordingly show up to hangouts that you plan with friends this is what my notion looks like i got Got my templates off of a website or like youtube channel so this is my main page so there's like my home dream life school social media content when i press on dream life I have more tabs if I press on the one where it says soul it tells me more prompts but that's just an example of like what each one would take you to and this one right here the social event slash appointments is the one that I'm going to be writing on right now now a lot is written down for the month of October I did my makeup a little bit, drank my lemon juice and apple cider vinegar mixed with cranberry juice and it just gives me like a natural boost of energy and it satisfies my cravings like I can easily fast without thinking too much about it. It detoxes your gut, it helps the acidity of your stomach so if you eat a lot of like grease it kind of just it just burns fat naturally. The way that it makes me feel is honestly just it's just the side benefit that I didn't intend to feel in the first place but I honestly am living for it because 
because my heart was literally feeling butterflies because of how good it felt and trust me when I say this the apple cider vinegar mixed with cranberry juice almost if not completely takes out the flavor this is what we're gonna be reading right now I got this recommendation from the wizard Liz and I am all about growth mentality evolving as a person I honestly believe that she is on to something when she says that trauma is kept in the body and when you release it everything changes for you because it makes so much sense how once you're stuck to your beliefs from your experiences it just shapes your life but if you change those beliefs i believe that can be life-changing this book is called the body keeps the score i just got this from target i'm just gonna read 30 minutes of this it is kind of a long book but i don't mind i feel like i'm just investing in myself We're gonna be going to a coffee shop to change our environment and changing the vibe to productivity because like i mentioned earlier your room psychologically signals comfort you're ready to go to bed and i do do my work here i feel like i can only do so much work here i need to take breaks so comfort easily creeps in after a few hours of working so i just want to change my environment i just quickly changed my outfit blue light glasses on i would wear this with a black bolero but since i don't have one i do have a black wool sweater that i'm thinking of pairing it with. quickly came home because i wanted to change i wanted to go on a walk we're gonna go get some sunlight in our system because i feel like i have not been getting that that much recently like the most sunlight i feel like i've gotten is in my car on the way to places sunlight is vital to your mental health it releases endorphins and our energy needs to be at an all-time high so let me just quickly change I actually came a little late. I only have like 30 minutes until sunset. It's late, but at the same time, I came right on time to catch the sunset. It is actually super cold. I don't know if I'm gonna stay for the sunset. Today is a new day and I'm gonna be running a few errands. I just wanna take you guys along with my nail appointment and by no means am I saying you need to get your nails done to feel like you're put together. This is not something that I typically do, but the reason that I haven't recently is because my mom has been paying for them and I'm very grateful. I got my nails done in my last video, but they're like all grown out now. This is the outfit of the day. I just got on my nail appointment and I'm gonna go pick something up But I wanted to quickly show you guys how they turned out It didn't turn out exactly how I pictured them too But I feel like they are good enough I don't know. I'll talk to you guys later because I am driving now. What we're gonna be doing right now, doing what I should have done a long time ago. We're gonna set timers for my screen time. My average time on my phone recently has been like 10 hours. We need to reduce that to like five, like chop that time in half. So. We're gonna put a time limit of 45 minutes on 26 apps in total. The limit is on now. The reason that I felt the need to have to put screen time limits on my phone is because I feel like recently, whenever I'm not being productive, I just need to get off my phone. I feel like I, I enter like a whole new world when I go on my phone. It's like my biggest form of procrastination because I can easily get lost. I don't plan on completely eliminating my phone from, from my daily life. I do want to reduce the amount that I'm even on my phone so that I could be more mindful of how much time i'm spending on it because with the time limit it will like give you a notification once you've been on the app for 30 minutes i believe that is all for today's video i hope this motivated you to get out of a slump or sort of a guide on what to do if you ever catch yourself feeling more lazy than usual because we can all get trapped in that mentality of like feeling lazy as a woman we should have more rest and breaks so it's okay to take off days if necessary if you're body's calling for it but the only thing that i would then say that you need to put a stop to is when you elongate that process and i just hope that this served as a good guide for that because these things all make sure that i'm feeling better and good inside and well taken care of so thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you guys in my next video bye
Thank you.